What's up, YouTube? T this is Hemi. Today I wanted to do um, <clears throat> an unboxing video on a lot of stuff that I've come, uh, recently acquired, you know, to finish up the job on that Proje Project Lincoln Town car that I've been working on for a while. Some of the stuff is going in my Escalade also that I'm working on. So without further ado, I'm going to start unboxing. And also, shouts out to my boy, uh, Purple Syrup. And getting me hooked up with all a lot of the stuff, you know, a lot of the Sky High Car Audio merchandise. So, like, in this bag here, we got so, got your copper out gauge, um, um, wire lugs. And also, got some four gauge. Man, yeah, purple, man, purple. Give you real good price on all this stuff too, man. Got plenty of the, uh, you know, the heat shrink going on here. So, I'm gonna clean everything up, make it look nice and neat. So, so zip ties, everything. He also hooked me up with. A, <clears throat> a lot of sky high audio wire 150 feet of this I'll be using this to uh, wire up some more speakers I'm adding in that car and, and it's on my car as well we have the nice sky high 4 gauge here and So it's big zero gauge. About 25 foot. About 20 foot on the on the ground. Zero gauge also. <clears throat> he convinced me, you know, for years I've been using uh, bolt cutters and hammers, you know, like pretty much like everybody does. Trying to get a crimp or even trying to solder, but he showed me something I can get <clears throat> the, the man make it make everything make life so much easier on, on my body, you know, and everything. Cause I've had two back surgeries, so it gets kind of gets kind of bad at times for me working on car audio. But I came across this bad boy, a hydraulic crimper. I got it for fifty three dollars on eBay, and it works perfect. I, I tested it a couple times on. I'm you know, doing cold wheels on some cable and everything. Works perfectly. Got all these different sizes for different wires and everything. Uh, crimp all your wires up real nice and neat. So if you have problems crimping wires, I suggest you look into getting one of these. Also, Hurt hooked me up with this North Star battery, Group 34. Let me get it unboxed here. <clears throat> North Star battery. I had opportunity to um, order some of those uh, battery terminals for, for uh, I think it's called CF just, just distribution or CNS distributor. Yeah, CNF distributor. I want to do something different. I, I thought about the tool makers, but for this, these particular applications, I wanted to have something flatter. So I already put one on and show how it mounts on the battery. Positive and negative side right here. They're pretty nice. Got a couple of sets of these in the box. And 
I was at first, at first I was gonna get the SS power batteries, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these to try since um gives you gave me a good price on them and you said they like they really they said they outperform the excess power batteries and the kinetics and stuff. So and up here to get everything done right this time. You know, I got your um, you know your relay switches and everything already pre-wired to cut out a lot of that extra, you know, hassle or whatever. Just snap it on here and just, you know, crimp all your wires to it. All color coded. Makes it simple. I got plenty of those in the bag here. So now let's get to the some of the pro audio that I'm adding into the Lincoln. I went ahead and went with the um Rock for it. Pro, pro me is the tweets and everything. Got a set of the six and three quarters that I'm going to put. That I'm going to put on. Um, I'm probably going to put these in the rear door because in the rear deck I have them. He has the. Um, Prime Series 5x7s and 6x9s, you know, throughout the rear deck and doors and tweeters are already flush mounted. And due to, his, you know, due to the rear deck being kind of closed, you know, enclosed with a small, you don't have much, much to work with. I, I don't know how to time to really try to build a deck lid or anything, Mod, you know, do some modification to it. So I'm going to put these in the rear back doors. With uh, some tap with some arms, <clears throat> uh, with some MDF rings and everything, I get them out of there nice and neat, real nice. So you want it loud because it's it's 15s or extremely loud, and this right here bring uh, pretty much brings me as highs to life. So I'm putting those in. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put some of these in my escalator or not. I'm more of a um I'm a I'm a mixture of um SPL and S and SQ. I, I like I like to have the, the base, but also I like to have the flawless mids and highs and stuff, so that's why I like in my charger. I went with you no know, gel audio and I'm I'm probably gonna look into some maybe the T two series for my for my um for truck. I don't know yet or hurts. One of them. Still got time to start before I get to my bill. Hold on. Then. Uh -oh. One of the, um, set of the tweet, the tweeters they have. Rock Fox they have. And what I like about all this, all this electronics, it all came with a three-year square trade replacement warranty. So, if they ever go on for three years, swap it on out. And I love how Rafa put these push terminals on his speakers, man. I like, I like that a lot. But these some big ass tweeters. Then they're easy to, to rebuild or something. Go, you know, if you can repair them yourself, you can take them apart and rebuild them. So that, that that works out pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna more I'm gonna put those like in the rear deck area. And I like I said, put those six three quarters on the door. I do have room to put two keys in the rear deck of this car. Cause you wanna you wanna keep it, you know, more like factory look. Get all you know, all that fiberglass heavy doors and stuff like that. He's not really into that, you know. So, I love them, 
man. It, it take 50 watts RMS on these and 100 watts on these right here, piece. six by nine brackets I'm gonna go back in this front doors and stuff and I'm gonna put these brackets on instead of those MDF brackets that I put in there last year but these are a little more sturdy and I like you know how that balance and flush mounted or whatever I don't want no water you know get on them inside the doors or anything and then I gotta have something to push all this stuff I'm adding in that car so, went well, ahead and got a real good deal on this. Punch 400 um, by 4. The power clear. I can't really get the glare because it's standing above a chandelier. So, yeah, but it's going to come together real good. It's going to sound real nice and everything, man. Oh, I got this wire here where I did it, just playing around with this crimp. So, to show y'all what it can do. Nice cold weld around it. A lot better than, a lot better than using a, uh, a hammer or any other, any other kind of rigged up crimp tool to get this lightsaber. Now you see all good. Oh, what last one I need to wire up all those the relay switches in all our vehicles. I went on here and only with audio pipe. You can get this right here for like 20 bucks. They got all these different color wires, you know, for the remotes and everything. So I can add multiple remotes and run all the wires to the relay switch and stuff. Fit, each pack 50 feet. So can't beat it for the price. But all that being said, man, hope hope y'all enjoyed the unboxing. In the, maybe in a few days or so, um, you'll start seeing the installation. Until then, it's Hemi signing out. Peace.